Happy Monday, welcome back. Coming up in today's video, I just wanna show you two quick tips on um, color grading or color correcting in uh, Adobe Premiere. So let's jump into the iMac. But just before we do, please hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, I'll be releasing um, new content every Mondays. And if you're lucky, I might even um, put out another video sort of later on in the week as well. But um, it's definitely every Monday I film and release a new video. Um, and this can be anything to do with video production. Um, so I own, run my own video production company, um, specializing in weddings, um, corporate gigs, sort of any other sort of video production needs that a company might want. So um, I sort of just give my tips and uh, my views and reviews on um, gear, um, as well as how I personally do things. Um, but as always, you know, you might want to take on my advice. Um, or if you think I've done something wrong, I'd rather let you know. It's just, it's just what I do. So this channel is all coming from my personal experience. So let's dive in. So in this example, um, I've got my ceremony one camera that I've gone through and just cut out all the bits that I don't want to do. So I'm literally in the middle of editing um, this couple's feature film. Um, this one, they actually put me on my silver package, which was just the highlights. And this kind of is one example where I've already color graded some clips. So I've done some basic um, color correcting with Lumetri color. So I always shoot on a flat profile. Um, so my normal clips, you know, look, a bit like this. So if I go back to the other one, you can really tell tell the difference. Um, so what I've done here, I've color graded already the one clip, and this is a real easy way of applying this to sort of these clips and then these clips afterwards. So all you have to do is you have to right click the, the bit you've done, copy, and then just highlight all the clips that you want to apply this to. Once they're highlighted, right click, paste attributes, and we're making sure the Lumetri color is ticked. So as soon as I hit OK, they are now all color graded the same. And this is easy as that. Another way, um, is if nothing was color graded. So let me just undo these and I'll remove this as well. So nothing is, it's all in my flat profile. So the other way, what you can do is you can apply what we call an adjustment layer. So if you go to new item, adjustment layer, hit okay. And what we do, we just drag that over all the clips that we want apply, that we want to apply this color correction to, and just make sure it's on. Um, this will apply to whatever is below the adjustment layer. So if I now go, um, I'm net tree, you know, just do a, just do a quick bit. You know, drop the blacks, drop the shadows, boost up the highlights, whites. This isn't a color correcting course. This is just um, a quick way to show you. Um, how to apply an effect to cover all your clips. So as you can see, as I scroll through these, all these clips are color corrected because if I get rid of that, that's what the original looks like. And there you have it, two really quick um, ways of applying a, a color grade to your clips. Um, you know, this is, this is, you know, you know, sometimes these wedding ed edits take quite a while, so you want to sort of speed up the process um, and that is a great way. I personally prefer the first way. I like to see on each of the clips that it has that applied effect rather than one adjustment layer um, over the top. And if you've got loads of different clips and you're going from inside to outside, um, you might have a few different adjustment layers and it can get a bit um, laggy on the computer and you got more video layers then. So I like to usually just apply um, the color grade to the individual clip itself 
but like I showed you, you can literally paste, paste it, copy and paste it on um, all those highlighted clips and literally takes seconds. So like I said before, please like and subscribe. Well, please like uh, this video if you, you know, if you like it and you learned something. Um, please hit the subscribe button if you want to sort of learn more um, about video production. Um, so I will see you next Monday. Bye bye.